Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I am going to show you how to crimp these different types of electrical connectors. I have a fork electrical connector here and then a ring electrical connector uh, here and then a couple of the quick disconnect electrical connectors. And I'm going to be using this tool here. This is a wire stripping and crimping tool from Irwin uh, Vise Grip. And um, I actually did do a full review and how to use of this tool. Um, and I'll link that video at the end of this one. So if you're interested and have time, please check that video out. But before we begin, whenever you're working with tools, make sure that you're always wearing the proper safety equipment. For this demonstration, I have on a pair of nitrile gloves and safety goggles, and make sure that you take all safety precautions. And I'll be using some 18 gauge copper stranded wire to demonstrate how to do this. And whenever you're working with wire before you ever do, you want to make sure that the power is turned off. You never want to work with a, a wire while it's live. So before you ever start working with wire or whatever you're working on, make sure that the power is off and that there's no electricity to the wire. Okay, so um, with this wire here and uh, the wire stripping tool here, so this is 18 gauge, um, and if I put it in the 18 gauge, we only need to take off about a quarter inch uh, of insulation. And um, when you put it in the wire stripping tool, you just hold the handles together, and then you just pull the wire away from the wire stripping tool. Now sometimes with stranded wire, and here's an example. You can see a couple of the copper strands in there. And that's not acceptable, so we do need to redo the work. Um, and what I've found works for me um, is just moving down to the next uh, biggest gauge. So we're going to move down to the 16 gauge uh, stripping part of the tool. And then I'm just pulling the wire away from the um, tool here until it takes the insulation off. And then we'll verify that there is no copper strands in there. And I still see one. So uh, we're going to do that one more time here. And I'll even try moving down to 14 gauge here. And then just pulling the wire away from the tool there. And let's check this here and just make sure that there is no uh, copper strands in there and there is not. Um, so now what we're going to do is we'll um, do the fork connector first here. Um, and I'm just going to put the wire in here. And that's about where you want it right there. Just, um, you know, barely, um, you know, coming through the connector just so you can see it there. Um, if you cut back too much, if you if you take off too much insulation, then you'll have the wire coming well out into the um, electrical connector, which you don't want. So you always want to pick the correct electrical connector for the wire that you're working on. And this electrical connector here works between uh, 18 and 22 gauge wire, AWG. Um, and we can see on the crimping tool, there's a spot here for 18 to 22 uh, gauge wire. And a lot of the times it's color coded, like we can see red and red here. But that's not always the case, so just be aware of that. Okay, so now I'm going to put the wire into the electrical connector. Um, and we are going to uh, crimp it. Um, but before we do, uh, we want to crimp in between where the flared part of the electrical connector ends and then the end of the red part of the electrical connector. So in between those two points. And let me show you where that is. So right in here, like so. And right now I'm just gently holding down on the handles to keep the electrical connector in place. Um, and then once we're ready, like I have that where I want it to be and I have the wire in there, um, then just squeeze down on the handles until it crimps the electrical connector down on the wire like so. And then you can just perform a test to make sure that the wire is in there securely um, and doesn't pull away from the electrical connector. Okay, so now we'll move on to the next one. Um, and I'm just going to use the um, 14 gauge part of the stripping tool because that seems to be working without taking off any of the uh, copper strands of wire. And let's take a look here. 
uh, there's one strand in there. So, um, you know, and this is not the highest quality wire. Um, let's try again here. Okay. And that time we're good. Um, so uh, now we're going to do the ring connector. Um, and same thing, we're just going to put the wire into the ring connector um, until it's uh, just, you know, barely sticking out the top where the red ends there. Um, you don't want it to come, you know, out too far and get in the way of the ring connector. And then we are going to uh, rest it in the tool here, like so. And you don't want to crimp down on the flared part. Um, you want to crimp down in between where the flared part ends um, and then the end of the um, red part of the electrical connector. So we'll rest that in here and get it ready and then make sure the wire's in place and then just squeezing the handles together. Um, and then you can just, um, you know, give a test here just to make sure that the wire's in there securely. And now we'll move on to the quick disconnect electrical connectors. Um, and I'll just do one, what's left on the wire here, I'll just do one on each side so then, um, you know, I can demonstrate how they connect together. So um, let's use the 14 gauge. And like I said, you know, you want to make sure that you don't take off uh, any of the copper strands of wire. That is important. This one looks good here. Um, and what, like I said, what's worked for me is just, you know, even though this is 18 gauge wire, uh, just moving down until you find the correct one that can take the insulation off uh, without, um, you know, taking the copper strands of wire uh, with it. So, um, and we'll just go ahead and prepare the other side here. There we go. And that's good, no strands of copper in there. Okay, so now uh, we'll start with this one here. And we're just going to, that one I could probably do a little bit more. I might have to, um, oh no, it took it, okay. Let's just make sure it didn't get any uh, copper strands in there. I don't see any, that looks good. Okay, so um, we're gonna go ahead and do this one first and just putting the wire in there. Like so. And then same thing here, we're just going to rest this in the tool and get everything lined up how we want make sure that the wire is in there um, and then squeeze the handle together and then we'll give it the test there um, and then we'll do the same thing on the other connector here and we'll get it in the tool and lined up make sure our wires in there and then just squeeze the handles together like so. Make sure that it's on there firmly. Um, and then with these style of connectors, you know, they're just able to um, connect and then disconnect as well. So, all right guys, well, that was it for this video and I hope it's been helpful. And, um, you know, my advice, what I would do um, is practice makes perfect. So get like a scrap piece of copper stranded wire like this one here um, and practice a few times before you do it on your final project. Um, that way you just get a feeling for whatever wire crimping tool that you're using and the electrical connectors that you're using and the wire that you're using. Um, and hopefully that will make it go a lot smoother when you're working on whatever your final project is. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.